<laughs> the um, the call to God is not one that's always easy, and I think one of the most difficult things is when there are um, people who might be offended or take issue with this, or when this call is something that tears down or or that um, overthrows, it plucks up. This, these words of God are difficult pieces for people to hear. And there's resistance. I think about some of the people who were my mentors in Ecuador who were called to speak and were speaking out for justice in the communities where we lived. Or this Pastor Manso who went with this young woman whose um, husband was killed by the military. And he went with her to advocate, and his own life was threatened. I think about the calls today for us to speak out about some of the things that are wrong in our world, to speak out about racism, to speak out about the divisions and hatred, to speak out calling um, the church to be uh, changed and to rise up to the mission of God. And these calls are calls that are not always well received. Jeremiah was known as the weeping prophet. He was a prophet who had a difficult word, and there were times when they all wanted to put him to death and to destroy him because they didn't like the message they had. He had other prophets rise up and say, no, this is not what God is saying. God's going to bless our nation when Jeremiah was calling them to repent, to change. But in this call, we are called to not be afraid because the words that God brings are words of life. Words that tear down what needs to be teared down and that raises up new life. Our hymn that we read says that the word that brought creation to being, the word that speaks of God's tender love, this is the word that comes down from heaven, the word that comes to us. And so we proclaim these words and we proclaim these words with courage. We proclaim these words in prayer, seeking wisdom from God. We listen to God. Listen to what is God saying? And this listening, I think, is something that um, sometimes the world doesn't have time to listen. It takes us to, to mm -hmm. stop what we're doing, to um, change our approaches to things, to sit quietly and to observe and to listen, to be in prayer and to be open to receive, to be ready to hear things that are different from what we have been thinking to be ready to change. And in this openness, this open receiving, this open hands, listening to God, God brings life. The call through Jeremiah to these people of um, Judah did not, they didn't answer in the way that um, God longed for. They didn't come back to God. And so he continued to be faithful in that speaking, but his faith was in God. And in the exile, the people were taken into exile for decades, for 70 years. And that faith in God was that in God's time, God will do God's work. That in God's time, God will bring good. And maybe we have difficulty seeing that right now, but our faith is in God and in the call of God and not in what we see around us. That listening is something that reorients us to God's way and to God's presence. So we have call narratives and the call narrative comes to each person in a different way. It comes to each person where they are and in the ways that they can hear. For Moses, God had to get his attention with the burning bush. For Isaiah, Isaiah was overcome in the temple where he was. For Samuel, Samuel was a little boy and heard voices speaking and calling. For Mary, there's an angel that met her. So God will meet us in different ways with God's word. And we can trust that God will do this because it's God's work. And we don't have to have it figured out ahead of time. We simply listen, are faithful and pass on the messages that we hear from God. The messages that we have from God are, are messages for the care of the, of the nations and for healing of people. And in our community, we are called, I think, to bring healing 
in a community to all people, to bring to those who are hungry and are um, going through difficult times, our message comes with food. Our message comes with prayer for those who are facing difficulty and illnesses. Our message comes to meet people where they are, and the message of God comes to you and to me in our suffering. Again, in this passage, God comes to one who is a youth, one who doesn't feel like he's equipped. God comes to us with healing for us, even if we don't feel like we have everything put together or all the right ways to receive these gifts from God. The gift is from God. It's not by our doing, by our ability, by our being equipped and um, educated and powerful and having all the things that we think that people need to have. These are gifts from God. May God be faithful in your midst. May God encourage and raise you up with faith that in this long haul, God will triumph mm -hmm. and will overcome and will bring healing for the earth. God's peace be with you. God is calling you. Oh, Lord, our God, we thank you that you know us from before we're formed in our mother's wombs, that you know how equipped we are and how unequipped we are. You know what gifts we have. You know our quirks. You know, oh, Lord, where we are in our connections. And you have chosen and claimed us to be your own. You've chosen us to be people who spread good news. You've chosen us to be the hands and the feet the mouthpieces of your good news in this world. We thank you, O oh Lord, that you equip us for this work. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the all that you have called, the people you've called before us, who show us, guide us, who speak to us, who challenge us, who encourage us. We thank you for the many ways that your voice is heard through creation, through your word as we read, through sharing, through listening, through nature to the events that are happening in this world. We thank you, O oh Lord, that your voice comes with a word of hope and a word of healing and a word of love. O oh Lord, with it comes challenge, challenge to change, challenge to be undone, challenge to be redone. May we, O oh Lord, have our ears open to hear your voice and our eyes open to see you in our midst. May we grow closer to you, be drawn closer to you, and to be raised up in you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our hear prayer. prayer. Lord, we come with our community this night in prayer before you. and We thank you, O oh Lord, that we can speak the words that we know how to speak. And that your spirit speaks on our behalf, intercedes for us. We come, O oh Lord, for Lita and Ed with their... Um, their dear cat, Braveheart, who they've had for 15 years, who is not doing well right now, who is seriously ill. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your marvelous creation and for the companions that we have that come in all different species for our pets that we have, that we love and care for. We ask for your guidance for Lita and Ed in caring for their cat. We ask, O oh Lord, for your blessings for the cat, that you would bless brave heart, that you would guide them in caring for brave heart. We ask that your joy would be with them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, hear prayer. our prayer. We come before you this night with Rayanne and Jeff. We thank you that Rayanne is able to play and share her music and her gifts with us this night. We ask for continued healing for her following her injury. We thank you, O oh Lord, that every moment our bodies are going through healing and overcoming and rising up and renewing and cells are being renewed. We ask that this renewing process for Rayanne will overcome the injuries that she had, will heal her and relieve her from pain and will increase her strength. 
that she might, O oh Lord, spread good news everywhere she goes. For Jeff, O oh Lord, as he um, has had the surgery and now needs to have one of his toes amputated on Monday, we ask that you would care for him, that you would encourage him, that you would bring healing for him and for his feet. That the surgery that took place, O oh Lord, will be beneficial for him and good for him, that you would bless him, O oh Lord, in the days to come. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We come before you, O oh Lord, with Beth Grayson. We thank you for her faithfulness and for how she has been a blessing for so many. And as she's going through this difficult illness, we ask that you would continue to be with her, that your light might shine upon her, that your strength would be with her, that your grace would abound and be sufficient for her at this time. Hold her in your love, O oh Lord, and care for her loved ones, we pray. We commend her to you, to your care this day. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, for Joyce's eye, we thank you that she has an appointment coming up soon. She's been having difficulty with this, and we thank you for the miracle of sight that takes the world without outside of us and brings it within us and, and allows us to connect and interact. We ask that you would bless her with sight and that you would bring healing to her eyes, that the appointment that she has, O oh Lord, will be good and beneficial for her. Care for her in the meantime, O oh Lord. Bless her, O oh Lord, with your mercies that abound, with the health that comes from you without limit. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the healing that you've brought for April's family. We come to you again this time with her sister, Diane, as she has both COVID influenza. That sounds absolutely miserable. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would protect her that you would give her life and that you would give her body strength to overcome. Bring healing, O Lord, to her cells, to her body. Make her lungs strong. We ask that you would help her to overcome and that you would encourage her, that you would give her strength. Keep those around her safe, O Lord, and those who care for her safe. Protect them, O Lord, and watch over her. P provide for her needs. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you that we can come to you with people who are um, not with us, but who are with you. For Sherry, Cheryl, and for Ashley, for Joyce's cousins, one still waiting word for about the transplant, the other recovering from surgery. We thank you, O oh Lord, that in their unique needs, you come with your unique gifts that you come and know what each one needs and that you are there to provide and care for them, that they are your children, dearly loved by you more than we'll ever understand. We commend them to you, O Lord, for healing and for strength this night. Care for them, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, I thank you for answered prayers for my family, for my siblings and their families who are recovering from COVID. We continue to bring before you Al, my nephew, who has been in intensive care and having difficulty fighting, oh Lord, for his life. We thank you for um, responses he has made to treatment. We commend Angela to you in your care and ask that you would watch over her and surround her, give her your peace. And for Al's family, oh Lord, we thank you this night that we can come to you and rest in you, that you renew us, that you hear our prayers, that you heal our land. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O oh Lord, as COVID sweeps our nation, we ask that you would give wisdom, wisdom and also courage to do what is right and good. For me, I have been perplexed as I hear about in the very peak, the highest points of these pandemics of people who have decided to, instead of take more precautions, have decided to release precautions. It seems confusing to me. I think about how weary we are with this and somehow times that we just don't want to, to take restrictions any longer. I think about times this earth has gone through that have been much longer than the two years we've been at this. 
And so, Lord, we ask that you would guide us, that you would give wisdom to our leaders throughout the country and throughout the world. That you would restore, O oh Lord, the strength and the will of people who have become weary. That you would bring healing, O oh Lord, to the people who are divided. That you would prevent war, O oh Lord, and keep us safe in our international disagreements. In our disagreements with Russia at this time, O oh Lord, we ask for your protection, for your safety, for your children. We ask for this world, O oh Lord, that we might overcome our divisions and might come to ways of hearing, understanding, and building bridges instead of destroying them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. With thankfulness, O oh Lord, that you love us, that you hear our prayers, and that you call us that you call people to raise up leaders throughout this earth. We thank you. We dwell in you. We rest in you. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Can you lead us in the Lord's Prayer, Paul, please? We now pray together the prayer our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Children of God, sometimes we don't feel equipped for the call. Sometimes we feel confused. Sometimes we feel like we might not have the wisdom. Sometimes we feel weary. But God who calls you is sufficient in our weakness, and God will raise you up. May God who lends you pathways of righteousness, who rejoices over you, who calls you by name, bless your going out and your coming in today and forever. Amen. Amen. You are exactly what God wants you to be. May God's peace be with you. Also with you. Breaks the cross.
Go with Christ into a weary world. Share the good news. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Rianne, thank you.